hi guys welcome back to my channel i am so sorry that it took so long to upload my newest video i've just had so much going on i've been really busy with work uh-uh not over here we get straight to the point so as you can see, this is an overview of the kitchen and it is quite small, but that kind of works out for me anyway, because as some of you know, I am embracing a more minimalist lifestyle. So with not a lot of space, there's not as much incentive to acquire a lot of things. As you can see, I try to keep the countertops as bare as possible to minimize that visual clutter. So let's start with the cabinet next to the microwave. This is where I keep all of my glassware. And as some of you know, I purchase most of it from the dollar store. So if one or all of them break, it's really not a big deal at all because I don't have any special or expensive glassware. And this is all I have. I keep them all in this one cabinet over here. Below in this drawer is where I keep my everyday flatware. I do have a video on how and where I store my more special flatware, so be sure to check that video out if you're interested. So in this drawer, I just use a basic flatware organizer that you can purchase anywhere, Target, Walmart, maybe even the dollar store. So um, just a basic organizer that I use to keep my everyday flatware. And I do have here, this is a very sharp, I guess, cutter, um, whatever, and some, some mixers as well. This is my miscellaneous drawer. This is where I keep a wide variety of frequently used kitchen tools. Now in here, I use the super amazing adjustable bamboo drawer organizer. Now this organizer allows me to access all of these kitchen tools that I use every day. If I were to put all these things inside a basket or just place them all in the drawer without the organizer, it would really be a pain to get to, to what I need. So having it all divided up makes things just a lot easier and just keeps it simple. So I, I love it. In here is where I keep all of my glass Tupperware and bakeware. And so this cabinet is it's a pull out, so I'm able to pull it out and get to what I need. There's actually a lot more than meets the eye, but because they all fit inside each other, I'm able to really maximize space with, with these sets. So, I would love for all of them to be the same color, but you know, thumbs up for red, white, and blue, or not. Right below is another miscellaneous cabinet. I use this storage bag or storage container to keep uh, just random things. I do have one hand mixer in there and I also keep my lunch bags in there as well. In the back I have my mixing bowls that I keep back there and you can see there is a waffle maker in the back as well. I use this divider to maximize space. I have the cheese boards on top and a colander, colanders at at the bottom. I have another pull-out cabinet here, and this is where I just keep my extra bacon pans, um, all the ones that didn't fit under, under the oven I keep in here, and then I just also keep some to-go to go bags or, or foil bins in there as well. Below that I have 
and this oversized wok and another a large roasting pan that I keep under here as well. So this is my under a kitchen sink cabinet that you're looking at. I'm not gonna go into that because I have a video on how I keep that organized. So you can check that out if you're interested. In this corner cabinet over here is where I keep all of my plastic storage containers. And oh my goodness, I have a lot. But what I do like about this cabinet is this lazy Susan feature which makes it so easy to get to what I need to by just, you know, by just turning it so I'm able to, to get a lot in there and access it very easily. So there are two levels, so I'm able to store a whole lot of, of plastic storage containers. And this is not a good look for a person that is trying to embrace a minimalist lifestyle, but it's a work in progress. In here is where I keep all of my knives. And I didn't go out and buy a separate drawer organizer or knife block to keep the knives. This was this knife set was a gift and I like the package that it came in. Um, I thought it was practical, so I just figured I'd just use it as is. I also keep my measuring spoons and measuring cups in this drawer as well. And oh my goodness, this corner cabinet I don't even know why I'm showing this. Um, this has been so hard to organize in here. Um, I finally used just a tiered shelf where I just keep some oils, some medication. Um, I've used some smaller Lazy Susans um, in this um, corner cabinet and try to just make sense of it all. Um, I also use some storage containers where I just keep water bottles in there. And at the very top, I keep some very rarely used kitchen kitchen items like a cheesecloth and a meat thermometer, etc. So if you have any tips on how I can better organize this corner cabinet, feel free to share. But right now, this is how I was looking. Over here is where I keep all of my mugs. Um, I try to keep it pretty uniform in, in color. Um, I got these mugs, which I love from, from Home Goods. And I love the fact that it's white or cream on the outside, but there are pops of color inside. So there's blues, green, red, yellow. So, so I love this. Um, I also have some older mugs that I got a long time ago. They are, are blue and, you know, they were old, but still in very good condition. So I wasn't going to throw it out just because it wasn't white or off white. And plus it kind of goes with, with my decor, with the, the blue and the white. So I keep all of that in here. I did go ahead and get rid of all of my other mugs that were just a hodgepodge of just everything and it just created a lot of visual clutter. And finally, in here is where I keep all of my bowls, plates, extra mugs and all of my extra mason jars. As you can see, I also have an extra two-tiered Lazy Susan that is not currently being used, so I keep up there. I have a shelf here for putting smaller plates or bowls on top. Um, and, and there isn't really much to see here. I try to keep it white, but again, I do have that blue set that was in perfect condition, so I kept that as well. And in the future, uh, when I'm replacing um, the set, I will just get white sets because it just makes it a lot easier to replace pieces 
as needed. And that's it for this kitchen tour. Shout out to you if you made it all the way to the end. If you like this video, feel free to share it with others who might also enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching.